Hi, I'm Mrs. Duthi and I teach at Christine Donnell. And I'm going to read a book today called Pip and Squeak by Ian Schoner. I'm going to read this to my dog, Holly. Squeak pinched Pip and Pip squeaked. We're late, said Squeak. Don't forget the gift for Gus. Snow, said Squeak. Get the sled. Step on it, Pip. And off they go, sledding down on a ladder. Lickety split. And look how cute the mice are. They're walking along the clothesline like a tightrope. But then Squeak squinted at Pip. You forgot the cheese, she said. Now what will we give Gus? Something better, Pip whispered, and he slunk off to find it. So off he goes to find something better than cheese. <gasps> this is great for Gus, said Pip. Not as great as cheese, scoffed Squeak. What are those? Those look like flamingos, but not real flamingos. They're plastic flamingos that you find on people's front lawns. Gus will love this, said Pip. Is it full of cheese? Squeaked. S squeak snorted. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Look at this guy. Just then, Pip saw something. It was orange. It doesn't look like cheese to me. What color is cheese? Orange. It was big. Ooh, look at that orange thing. Could it be cheese? Nah, it's cheese. And he jumps. Pip squeaked, squeak. <gasps> The nose of the snowman is coming off. It's not cheese. Squeak scrambled down and pulled Pip up. It's not cheese after all, sniffed Pip. We know what it is, don't we? We can still give it to Gus, said Squeak. He probably won't like it, said Pip. Hmm, I guess Gus likes cheese, not carrots, huh? <gasps> oh my goodness! But Gus thought it was perfect because Gus is a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots, don't they? Oh, and look, the mice are eating their cheese. These mice are for my mother, the author says. The end. Thank you for listening. Good night, Ellie.